This is Out of the Box with your host, Jonathan Clark. Out of the Box, Sunday nights at 9 on Q1043. Okay, the new EP is Eat Your Young. It is out now. The new album, Unreal Unearth. It's coming later this year. Madison Square Garden, baby. September 30th. All the info, tour dates, etc. Hozier.com. He is Andrew Hozier Byrne. He joins us, uh, otherwise known as Hozier. Andrew, was there ever a time when um, maybe a publicist or a marketing person said to you or said to somebody, perhaps an, a writer, I've got this new artist from Ireland. Mm -hmm. Guess what? His birthday's on St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. That's like a it's typical like marketing American like, I know. kind of thing, right? Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. I'm I'm just lucky I wasn't called Patrick. You know what I mean? On, right. When I was born. Yeah. But um, yeah. But it it is. It's it's uh it's 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 quite a cool. Yeah. It is. I suppose somebody had to be. Yeah. Right. But but uh, it is a, a day like this is a, is a fun one. And it's good work uh, working on your birthday today, right? It is. It's, 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 like, it's, it's not like you're going to a nine to five uh, job. I was just know. thinking that. I think any musician, this is the day to release music is is really it's something that you you look forward to your whole your whole career your whole way up and to be able to do it on, on a birthday is, is is a real joy i feel very lucky the ep i've heard these three songs eat your young all things end through me the flood really beautiful songs beautiful lyrics the production the arrangement everything like that um you've got your almost signature hosier r&b soul mm. sort of spin on things on these songs um, I think Eat Your Young will be on the new album as well. That's that's right. Yes, it will. I believe so. I think and then, um, but uh, the other songs. Will this be a taste of what will be coming uh, later on this year? Yeah, it's a it's a it's a bit of a taste there. I think um, you know, there's it's we kind of have a, lar a larger, like quite a large body of work to to pick from. So I think um, and any songs that we release between now and then. I wanted to make sure that that when the album drops, there's also another you know added twelve, thirteen songs or something. Yeah, wow, so, okay, yeah. So prolific. It, yeah, it, it was it had its moments. The last few years had its. It was enough time to get a lot of work done. Right, of course. Which leads me to my next question. <clears throat> During the pandemic, you like a lot of us did a lot of reading, perhaps a lot of streaming, mm -hmm. uh, and you also did uh, a lot of writing of these songs. Mm -hmm. And for for people like me and our viewers and our listeners. Um, I'm not so familiar with Dante's Inferno, the yeah. Nine Circles of Hell, the yeah. very uplifting uh, yeah. <laughs> poem from Dante, uh, but perhaps this sort of influenced the direction of these latest songs. Yeah, yeah. direction is definitely the is definitely the, um, the 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 word. It's it's like I think the album is more. It's it's not tied to the literature in, in, in any way. I think it was important that the songs can just be the songs and, and let them do their thing, but um, the the album is just arranged in its themes along what what I guess he imagined was the nine circles that his little character walked. Give us some of the circles, because I don't know any. Okay, so he imagined that, you know, he, he sort of, dis you know, finds his way into this place. It starts off with limbo, you know, and limbo is where people who don't really, you know, they haven't really done anything terribly, terribly wrong. He meets a lot of philosophers who were born before the time of, of Christ and stuff like that. Okay. So he meets like Plato and stuff like that. And that's his imagining of where people who are pretty nice folk, you know, and then and then it goes into but but maybe who just didn't have didn't have any skin in the game as he nearly puts it, you know what I mean? Um and then then he go then you go into I think it's there's limbo and then there's lust, which is one of the first circles of people like, you know, are, it's it's related to the punishments as it were. So so okay. he, he imagines that you walk in and you're met with this big demon who wraps his tail around you as many circles as he thinks and then throws you into whatever circle of hell. It's, it's quite very visual. It's, it's like a lot of movies coming out these days, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really yeah. crazy. Yeah. Um, we are the radio partner for Love Rocks NYC. Yes. So I want to talk about that night last year where you were hanging out with your very good friends and performing. Uh, like Mavis Staples, uh, Keith Richards, many others. Tell me about that night. Yeah, yeah. That that is such a spe that's such a special night. Um, I know it was last week here in, in New York. Yes, it was. Yeah. Um, I know Alison Russell was there again. So she's a good friend of she's mine. She's amazing. Incredible artist. Wow. Such a special artist. Yeah. And I, I was very fortunate, very grateful to, to see Alison yesterday evening. We snuck into a pub last night and and played oh wait, which one? You got to tell us. It was a place called Saint Dymphna's in on the east side and. Um, it's a small little Irish Irish bar there, and myself and a few 
her bandmates just played a few songs and ah. Alison Russell was in town and she joined us for for a song from her upcoming uh, uh, album which was which is which was a joy so to get to sing, sing yeah her life you know um, your fellow countrymen you too tell me about the Kennedy Center honors you were there with uh, honoring you too and uh, other you must have met I mean I saw who was there it was you know George Clooney and and people like that. Tell me about the Kennedy Center honors honoring you too. Yeah, that that was a that was a that was a special occasion, you know. And I felt really really honored to, to be there as as an Irish musician also. And, and it's not many artists from Europe or Irish Irish artists in particular. Like I think that that will that will get the opportunity to to, to or that will be honored with with the with the Kennedy Honors program, you know. And I think that I know that meant a, a great deal to to you too, and it meant a huge. It made a great deal to me to to be part of that and to be part of that moment and, and to sing some of their work, um, uh, as part of that ceremony uh, with Brandy Carlisle and, and a wonderful Ukrainian artist called Jamala Jha. Yes, yes. Um, have you read Bono's book? Um, yes, I'm actually in, I'm in the middle of it now. Would you believe? It's so great, isn't it's, it? Yeah, it's beautiful. fantastic. Yeah. Um, my last question is just sort of a silly one, but do you ever? I mean, considering it is ten years since. Uh, Take Me to Church came out. I mean, you like you you left college, you made this demo. This song just completely exploded in the world. It's like almost two billion streams now. Congratulations are in order for that song because I think it's now just sold its ten millionth copy or something. Yeah, it's like it's it's gone. It's I think it just went diamond. Which yeah, is, diamond is yeah, what they call it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's 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 done the numbers. I I'm not sure exactly, but it's done the numbers for sure. Yeah, I I think. I was very feel very honored, feel very blessed that that song crossed over like it did, and um, it still has a life, you know, and it's still going. So it's that's it was wonderful to share that with that that celebration with the label, and you know they they've I've such big a big plaque, but, yeah, Got a big yeah. plaque, yeah, exactly. from the wall. Exactly. Uh, I would say the luck of the Irish is with you already. Hey, yeah. uh, so happy birthday again Thank on uh, St. Patrick's Day, uh, Hozier, the new EP, Eat Your Young. It is out now. Everyone, go and get it. It's fantastic. And let's wait for that new album, Unreal Unearth. It's coming later this year. And I cannot wait to see you at Madison Square Garden. Thank you. September 30th. Thank man. you. We'll see you then. Thank you, Thank man. You. Thank you. This is Out of the Box with your host, Jonathan Clark. Out of the Box, Sunday nights at 9 on Q1043.